Yogendra Meena. Yes. Okay, Yogan. Please introduce yourself. Yes, sir. My name is Yogendra Meena. I was born and brought up in Delhi. I did my schooling from Kendra Vidyalaya General School in Delhi only. Then I went to IIT GHQ to pursue my graduation in mechanical engineering. I also worked in Ministry of Social Justice as the project as a member of project monitoring unit. My hobbies include cooking, cycling, and following the Indian startup ecosystem. Good. Okay. My colleagues will you start. I will come in the last. Hello, Yogin. Hello, sir. So, Yogin, you have heard about the Delhi Mumbai Expressway. Yes. Can you tell which all states does it pass through? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, uh, it starts from uh, Delhi and Haryana. Then it goes on to Rajasthan. Sir, then Gujarat. Then Maharashtra. Okay. Are you missing some uh, one of the states? Sir, I'm not sure, but it may be MB, but I'm not sure. Okay, so have you been to that stretch of Delhi Mumbai Express, uh, which has been recently Yes, started? yes, sir. So it's my way to my village. It's a way to my village. Yes. Okay. So who manages these expressways? I mean, is there any special arrangement by the government of India to build and maintain such expressways? Uh, sir, there, there were multiple public-private partnerships to construct the expressways. And uh, so the model was uh, so, so sorry, the model was built, operate, and transfer. So the tolls will also be operated by the private players for some time. Okay, so you you sure about this particular model is there in this Delhi Mumbai Expressway as well? Uh, sir, as per my knowledge. I so I what are the other models as far as your knowledge goes? Uh, for then except BOT that is built, operate, and transfer. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, one is a hybrid annuity model. So that is uh, also there. Uh, sir, for brownfield project there is TOT, toll operate transfer, and sir there is a Swiss challenge model that has been coming up recently. What is that Swiss challenge model? Uh, sir, in that, uh, so there is no auction by the government, so the private players offers their bids and then the auction is there, there for the competitive rates. Okay, so uh, what do you mean by reverse bidding, if that is the case? Sir, I am not sure. So, have you heard of the word India Stack, which has been doing the rounds in news these days? Sir, I have heard that, but I am not able to recall it right now. Okay. So, your hobby is cooking? Yes, sir. What do you cook? Uh, sir, usually the traditional food that we eat at home, I assist my mom. So, it includes seasonal veg, dal, rice and chapatis. Sir, apart from that, uh, I have a habit of recreating any dish that I taste uh, outside or anything. Okay. So how do you recreate dishes? Uh, sir, some, somehow I believe that cooking is a science. So I have gathered this experience so I can recreate uh, the dishes on the base of my taste. So if I am not able to do so or if the taste is not matching then I go for looking at the recipe. Okay, so can you point out a few dishes from Rajasthan? Yes sir. Your original home state is Rajasthan? Yes, yes sir. So, which we generally don't see on the streets in a place like Delhi or a big metro. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, talking about street food, so Piaz Kachodi is the most prevalent street food and Mirchi Vada uh, in Rajasthan, the cities of Jaipur and Jodhpur. Sir, apart from that, the uh, cuisine that is that includes Gatti Ki Sabzi, Dal Bati Churma, that is also not very much visible in states like Delhi. Okay, fine. So, you have written in your DAP that you have been a manager of Spar uh, Spandan, that is the annual Spar festival of Sparda, sir. Sparda, yes. Is that Sparda? Yes, sir. Okay, in ITBHU. Yes. So tell me five major qualities that a good organizer or a manager should have, in your opinion. Sir, five major qualities will be first will be resource management because the resources of the college are limited and precious. Uh, sir, second quality will be team management and leadership because you have to manage a team of volunteers, they are not getting any incentive for that work. Sir, third will be crisis management because it is a three day long festival and there are uh, some spontaneous situations that are arising. Sir, fourth quality will be responsible handling of the uh, money or I would say confidential information also. Sir, fourth will be uh, being festive and optimistic because uh, sir, sometimes there are mishappenings and you have to cheer up the whole team. Okay. 
Fine. So, have you you have been staying in Delhi for how many years? Uh, sir, I was born in Waterfield. You were born in Waterfield. Yes. So, have you heard of Delhi Master Plan? Sir, I have heard of this uh, thing, but I am not able to recall. Okay, fine. So, tell me major five issues related to urban planning in Delhi, which you see are the major loopholes. Yes, sir. Sir, first and the major issue uh, that we see with urban planning will be the proliferation of slums. There are around 70, 750 slums in Delhi. That is because of lot planning. Sir, second will be the proliferation of unauthorized colonies as well. That is a secondary version of slums, but the pakka houses. Sir, third will be the traffic problem that we are facing in our day-to-day -day lives. Sir, there are some environmental problems also that are because of this vehicular pollution and all those things. Sir, one more thing that is uh, there is the like degradation of the water bodies of Delhi. So once upon a time there were around thousand lakes, but most most of them have been degraded. Okay, fine. Suppose you are LG of Delhi. Yes. How will you solve the crisis of parking in Delhi? Uh, sir, some major can be uh, related to infrastructure. Uh, suppose uh, uh, there are multi-level parkings that are being coming up. Sir, second can be a sharing model where people are offering their places for parking. That can be a behavioral as well as a monetization model that is possible. Uh, sir, one way can be bringing out an overall behavioral change like promoting cycling for small distances. So that can also be uh, made. And sir, one can be cluster parking like for a whole market, there can be a parking space reserved for that market. Okay, fine. So Indian Forest Service is an All India Service. Yes. Do you think there is a need of creating more such All India services? If yes, then in which areas? Uh, sir, in uh, areas where there is a, a where there we need to maintain a balance between diversity and uniformity. So there uh, an All India service will be favorable. So for example, Indian education service can be there. Uh, because the curriculum throughout the country is same, but the elements of local education and vernacular education are also the education is also there. Uh, sir, some are in favor of creating a health service also. Sir, there uh, again the similar thing, a balance between uniformity and diversity is there. Okay, and how is an all India service created in India? Uh, sir, it is as per the Article 312. So Rajya Sabha passes a resolution to create an all India service. So those were my questions. Sir. <coughs> So, uh, being from Delhi, uh, tell me, uh, are there any forest areas in Delhi? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, the recorded forest area is around 6%, but uh, the forest cover of Delhi is around 13%. And if you will include the tree cover, it is around 23%. So, there are some uh, biodiversity parks like Aravli, Neela Hawes, Sanjay Lake Biodiversity Park, Tugla Kamar Biodiversity Park. Okay. So, uh, have you heard about this rich forest? Uh, yes, sir, Aravli Biodiversity Park uh, includes the rich forest. Okay. So, uh, under uh, whose purview is this uh, Aravli Biodiversity Park and in general the overall rich forest area? State government, central government or the local government? Uh, sir, I am not sure but most of the area is under the forest department of Delhi. So, that is, a, uh, like that is under the Delhi state government. and. Some parts are municipal areas and some part, some land belongs to DDA also, sir. so that is uh, like a central government. So it is divided. Forest, can forest land be owned by a body like DDA? Uh, sir, some of the land, so as I am telling that the recorded forest area is 6%, but the forest cover is more. So the, the recorded forest, like the forest cover that is lying outside the recorded forest area. So some of them, uh, some of that so land so is... We see a lot of trees uh, alongside the roads in India. Yes. So whose purview will those forests or those trees become? Uh, sir, that is a part of avenue plantation. Uh, so sir, uh, some of them cover are covered under the forest area if they have the jurisdiction. And if the avenue plantation in the territory of DDA like Dwarka sir, so the whole avenue plantation is a part of DDA. So you will include these trees as part of the forest cover? Uh, not forest cover sir, but tree cover yes. And uh, your uh, hobbies are very interesting. Uh, you keep track of startup ecosystem, right? Yes, sir. So tell me some uh, three key issues or three problems that startup sector is facing. Uh, sir, one of the major key issues are the regulatory hurdles. Mm -hmm. So we are doing good in this front, but still there is a lot of problem in okay. ease of doing business. Tell me, sir. 
Yes sir. Yes sir. Sir, second will be a funding crunch that we are facing today. So 2020 and 2021 year were were the golden years for Indian startup. But now the like funding from overseas uh, like the FDI have been a limited amount. Okay. So sec th last will be the retaining of talent. So sir, uh, ba basically we are facing brain drain and uh, most of our talented individuals from IITs and IIMs are moving outside. And to retain them here, they, it requires a lot of money. And sir, with funding crunch, so that is becoming an issue. Okay. So, uh, is government doing anything to solve this problem? So, yes, sir. Government is uh, bringing up many schemes to solve each and every problem. So, there are some uh, like regulatory exceptions for the startups to address the first problem. Sir, there have been uh, Startup India Seed Scheme and Startup India Scheme to uh, solve the funding problems. Uh, sir, to uh, basically to promote women entrepreneurship, Dalit entrepreneurship, and tribal entrepreneurship, specific ministries are bringing their own uh, financial capital to fund these startups. Uh, okay. Do you know of any particular such scheme? Uh, yes, sir. So, sir, there is uh, this uh, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. So, there is uh, this financial corporation for scheduled caste and this financial corporation for backward classes. So, they are funding like they are uh, giving venture funds to these uh, startups from these communities. And sir, a similar scheme is run by the Trifed of uh, Ministry of Tribal Affairs. And uh, sir, uh, talking about the last... Tell me more about Trifed. Uh, yes sir, sir, Trifed is a body, autonomous body under Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Uh, it is there for uh, providing the marketing marketing support for the tribal entrepreneurship and tri tribal products. Uh, so sir, there are many schemes of Trifed like the... So are Trifed products available on Amazon? Uh, sir, there is its own marketplace also, but yes, sir, there are some products that are available on Amazon also. Okay. So, uh, since there is a lot of focus on uh, promoting these kind of tribal products, can you name some tribal products from uh, in and around Delhi? Uh, sir, uh, I know some from the NCR region of Delhi, like from Ar Ar Arabli. Uh, like Aravlis, there have been uh, products like uh, honey and gum, gum from sir Acacia, Nilotica, Baboon plant, so that is being marketed by the tribe. Okay. So, uh, my final question is, uh, since you know so much about the uh, startup ecosystem, you are aware about the schemes also, so why don't you, you know, take up the mantle and you know, start up using so many great initiatives, you are from IIT also. Yes sir. Uh, sir, I was a part of startup. That the experience that I mentioned of travels to hospitality. So I was the part of the founding team. So there were some issues with the and the startup. We had to wrap it up during the times of COVID. <coughs> sir, when uh, there, at that time I reevaluated my career choice. And sir, my life decisions are based on two things: what impact I can create in society, and what my job will uh, how my job will impact me. Sir, based on those things, I decided to go for public services. And governance. Okay, so uh, I think uh, you are trying to say that uh, your uh, idea of serving the people uh, will be more served here or your personal interest will be more served here? Uh, sir, both, sir, both the things. Uh, so, like uh, a, sta a startup is limited to a specific sector, but here is the diversity of role. And, sir, with public dealing, understanding the problems and providing the innovative solutions to them will be beneficial for the society. Uh, sir, by, with that startup, I learned practices like resource management and I have developed a creative problem solver uh, as a creative problem solver and I have an entrepreneurial mindset that qualities I can use uh, in governance to solve the uh, like existing problems. What are your options in uh, this type of uh, Sir, maths and forestry. Okay. Okay, Yogendra. Uh, you are from BHU. Yes, sir. Briefly tell the history of BHU. Uh, sir, BHU was founded by late Sri Madan Mohan Malviya in the year 1916. Oh. IIT BHU was founded in as the Banaras Engineering College in 1919. Uh, sir, it was uh, uh, basically uh, to promote the Indian Indianized education to the students at, at a very uh, like uh, uh, experiential level. So th that is the brief history of the university. Mm -hmm. You stayed in which hostel there? Uh, sir, I stayed in multiple hostels. For the first year, I stayed in Vishweshwarya hostel. For the second year, I stayed in Arevata hostel. Third year in Morbi hostel and fourth year in Vishwakarma hostel. Four years, huh? Yes. Four year course. 
So there is a one uh, central library. Yes. What is the name? Sir, it is like commonly known as the central library. I am there not is a name. Yes, Very famous sir, I am name. not able to recall it. There is a one hospital inside. Uh, yes, sir. What sir, is the name? Sir, sir, Sundarlal Hospital. Okay, it's a beautiful campus inside. Yes. Still, five tree species growing there naturally. Uh, sir, one major tree species mm -hmm. that was also prevalent in our hostel was mango, mm -hmm. Magnifera okay. indica. Mm -hmm. Sir, there was neem species in the campus. Mm -hmm. uh, there were people species. There, mm -hmm. there were some old heritage banyan trees. Mm -hmm. And sir, there were some also Ashoka trees in the campus. There is a one geet also for the uh, BHU. Uh, yes, sir. Can you recite? One sir, it, it was sung on the foundation, but uh -huh. I am not able to recall. Can you recite? No, sir, I am not able to. Who was the writer of that book, that uh, song? It's a very famous song. Uh -huh. All the occasions of importance. Yes, sir, song. but I am not Maybe able do it. to okay. recall. Okay. Uh, your father is from Dosa, your mother is from Alwar. Yes, sir. Tell me very briefly about two places. Introduce uh, the places. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, Dosa is a district in Rajasthan. It was a recent, like it was made recently in the year 1991. Uh, it, the, some areas of Savai Madhupur and uh, Jaipur were cut, carved out to make, uh, make the state Dosa. Mm -hmm. Major problem of Dosa is, sir, it is a drought prone state. Only 3% of the area is forest cover. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, Alwar is a heritage district of Rajasthan. It was in an earlier princely state also. Mm -hmm. uh, it has Sariska National Park. And, sir, the waterman of India, Rajinder Singh, is also. Uh, also belongs to Alwar. Okay. Uh, why you want to join Indian Forest Service? What is so so uh, attractive, or you can say, what is uh, uh, what interests you in this job? It's a very tough job, in fact. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, when I, as I mentioned, when I was evaluating my life choices, hmm. uh, so sir, I wanted to do some great in the one life that I've got. So, sir, being in this service, I feel that I will be able to not on, to serve not only the present of humanity but also the future of humanity by saving the environment. And sir, I am very much inspired by the motto of this service that forests are earth delight and that is very much crucial in these days of climate crisis. What is the forest percentage, uh, the latest report? Uh, sir, for overall India. Overall, sir. India. Yes, sir. India level. Sir, so the forest cover is 21.71% and mm -hmm. the tree cover is 2.61%. What is tough? Sir, trees outside forest. Mm -hmm. Sir, trees outside forest are the uh, trees that are lying outside the recorded forest area. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are from Delhi. Uh, tell me the Delhi administrative uh, structure. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, Delhi is a union territory with the legislature by the 69th Amendment Act under the Article 239A. Uh, so, sir, uh, the head of the uh, head of Delhi is like a, admi the administrator of Delhi is appointed by the president. Uh, he is known as the Lieutenant Governor. And as there is a legislature also, so there is a chief minister also. Mm -hmm. So uh, the main uh, le the main decisions are being taken by the legislative uh, legislative assembly. Uh, apart from the matters of land, police, mm -hmm. and uh, sir, one more subject was there. I am not able to mm -hmm. recall. Mm -hmm. And sir, those uh, so the recent amendments are to this uh, NCT of Delhi Act. So all the things should be passed by the hands of governor also. So governor. you mentioned basically LG. CM, any other part? Uh, yes, sir. so sir, uh, there are some autonomous bodies uh, like the De Delhi Development Authority, which uh, looks after the land. That, is, that become all part sir, of the municipal, LG, LG. Cor yes, mm -hmm. municipal corporation of Delhi is also very MCD, important. MCD, okay. Yes, sir. Anything more? Uh, you are missing? Sir, I am able to recall this. Sir, Delhi Police is also out. No, of no. Yes. So there is a, there is an arm of that uh, administration covered by the the report to the LG and all these things. It was already covered by LG. What is one more structure which you are missing? Sir, okay, I will tell you when you for discussion. Yes. You mentioned about the biodiversity hot. What what do you understand by biodiversity hot spots? Have you heard about it? Yes, sir. Tell me. Uh, sir, biodiversity hot spots are uh, like the places of uh, very high biodiversity. So there is a specific criteria. Hmm. For example, there should be one. Uh, like there should be high degree of endemism. There should be one fifteen hundred species of vascular plants, mm -hmm. and there should be a threat like it. It is uh, presented by ninety percent of the population should be facing. Okay, how many hotspots have been identified in India? Uh, sir, India is a part of four biodiversity hotspots: the uh, Sunda Land, the Himalayan, okay. uh, Western Ghats, and uh, sir, the Indo Burma. Sir, how many hotspots in the world? Sir, from what I can recall, there are thirty-two biodiversity hotspots in the world. Okay, uh, what is the difference between a zoo and a safari? Uh, 
सर अ सफारी इज अ टूरिज्म प्रैक्टिस दैट हैपन्स इन द नेचुरल फॉरेस्ट और अ प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया सर अ जू इज अ लाइक इज अ काइंड ऑफ एन एक्सिटू प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ एनिमल स्पीशीज सो एंड इन सफारी सर एंड सफारी हैपन्स इन द नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट अ जू इज अ पार्ट ऑफ कैप्टिव ब्रीडिंग एंड एक्सिटू व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हाई फॉरेस्ट एंड ए कॉपीज फॉरेस्ट सर हैव यू हर्ड द टर्म हाई फॉरेस्ट यस सर एंड कॉपीज फॉरेस्ट सिंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी योर सब्जेक्ट वाज ऑप्शन वाज फॉरेस्ट्री सो मे बी मस्ट हैव रीड योर बेसिक आई हैव हर्ड दिस टर्म बट आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल इट ओके व्हाट इज ऑपरेशन कावेरी You are not reading the newspaper nowadays, uh, sir. I, I actually am missing it. Yes, sir. I am missing the newspaper. Yes, okay. What then again? You with the what is the Manipur issue? Manipur. No, sir. I am not aware. Of that. Totally cut off newspaper. Uh, sir, since a few days. I few been, days. Okay. Yes. You came here in Delhi for. Uh, I mean, uh, sir, you are I staying in, here. Yes, sir. I live in Delhi. Okay. Yeah. सर्कल सर वर्किंग प्लान इज द होल होलिस्टिक प्लान ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट सो ऑल द रीजनरेशन द फेलिंग ऑफ द ट्रीज एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स आर टू बी कंडक्टेड एज पर द वर्किंग प्लान सो द मैनेजमेंट प्लान ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स अदर थिंग्स सो इट इंक्लूड्स द वाइल्ड लाइफ मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑल द थिंग्स दैट आर टू बी मैनेज्ड इन फॉरेस्ट द मैनेजमेंट प्लान इज मेंट फॉर टेरिटोरियल डिविजन्स सर आई एम नॉट व्हाट फॉर इट इज मेंट फॉर सर सर फ्रॉम व्हाट आई कैन कॉल मैनेजमेंट plan is for the whole forest and whole for, forest uh, yes sir the forest divisions and management plan and working plan so part, working part yes working plan is for the territorial units i'm not what are the uses of uh, drones in forest administration think of it sir drones can be used for various purposes uh, just sir, just bullet point about uh, yes sir two, three, so four, five. yes sir sir it can be used for uh, tracking the overall area it can be used for wildlife management sir it can be used for forest fire monitoring and prevention mm-hmm. sir it can also be used to, to uh, like uh, monitor the forest crimes of illegal felling and poaching and uh, encroachment mm. uh, sir apart from that uh, some uh, like delivery of some resources in the uh, remote forest okay my last question is uh, why they are concerned about the chat gpt everybody is crying that uh, there should be six month moratorium and then it is going to harm the whole humanity or something like that much of reddit yes sir what is what are the concerns sir chat gpt is a new totally a new level of generative ai mm. so where the machines intelligence is working on a higher scale that we have never experienced before mm. so it can answer any of the question that we are offering to it and he he is also imp- it is also improvising its answers with every like if you ask it to reconsider its answer so it will reimprovise also so that is a very high level of intelligence so uh, some of the like uh, the center of humane technology uh, america so they have published a report that it can be a harm for the humanity so what is your opinion about it should it be harmed uh, should it be banned uh, sir a technology is not a harm if it is controlled so chat gpt of today can be considered like uh, can be a, an equivalent of telephone of uh, yesterday so if it is uh, like uh, so precisely it should not be banned Uh, sir there should be some regulations but it should not be banned which country has already banned it sir i am not uh, okay it is banned it also okay anyway yes. now your interview is over formative you can go out i will call you thanks for discussion and thank your you feedback thanks okay